Hi guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. First of all, I would like to thank each and every person who subscribed to my channel and everyone who is watching my video sessions on Talent, Excel Macros as well as in the SQL. Now, I have since couple of weeks, I have been receiving a lot of questions in the comment section on Talent. Like, uh, can you please do uh, some more videos on Java components in Talent as well as how to use those components and how to load the context files other than manually and all so i thought of doing a separate lectures for all those questions that they have that they raised in the comment session so now without wasting any time let's dive into the topic on each and every question that they have asked Okay guys, here in this video I am going to explain about how to load a context variables other than manually. So in the previous videos uh, regarding the context variable session, I have already explained about how to load the context variables like manually as well as from the repository metadata. And in this video I am going to explain about how to load the context variables other than manually and without from the repository metadata. That means assigning a value to the context variable whenever the job is running. So I am going to explain that in this video. Now without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. So here what I am done is, this is the file that I have created, the sample file named as java underscore component. So let me save it again. So just for the extension, I am keeping it as CSV, saving it. So here the file is the first row is header that means uh, the first column is name second column is age and third column is married so i have included the three records here so what i am going to do is i am going to assign the uh, the number of records which are processed while running the talent job to the sum of the context variable while run while running so how i can done that is so first of all i need to load that particular uh, java underscore components dot csv file into the talent job so how can i do that is i can use t file input delimited so i am using t file input delimited component here so first of all i need to assign uh, i need to do all the prerequisites that i need so what i am first doing is name which is a string and then age which is an integer so i am modifying all the data types that i need and then finally married so which is also a string so I am leaving it. So these are the three columns that we have in the java underscore components.csv and along with that I need to change the file name here. The file name is java underscore components. Here row separate is slash n and field separate is uh, semicolon and we have one header so I am making it as one header. So these are the prerequisites needed for t-file input delimited. Now what I was doing is simply I was just printing it in the t-log row. So first of all I want to execute this to show whether uh, this is executing file or not. So I map this and I am running. So if you observe if everything goes fine then the result will come here all the three records. So all the three records is coming here. So now what I want to do is I I don't want all these things. I just only want the number of records processed. That means total three records gets processed. So I need a three as a output here. So how can I do that is so previously I was doing I was uh, creating one context variable here. So the context variable is records count which is an integer. So previously what we did is uh, we are assigning some of the values to here uh, either for the default and uh, if, we, if we have a another context like development or prod or UAT then uh, we are assigning all these values to that particular values like uh, the, in this particular context. So here I am not assigning any value in the any values in the default session like in the default context I am not assigning any values here. So how that particular value will get assigned here. And what I was doing is I was adding a one more component here T Java so what it will do is 
so if this job gets successfully gets executed that means uh, once this complete job gets run then i was inserting as on sub job okay to this one that means whenever this particular sub job and the above sub job will get completely successfully executed and the output is printed in the t log row then the t java component will go uh, will execute so in this t java component what i was doing is i was inserting here we already had a context variable here and i am just writing it as context dot if you click uh, control space bar then you will get all the available context that you have yeah here context dot record count is there oh, sorry context dot sorry context dot records count is there so what i am going to assign is we i already explained about the component variables in the previous lectures if you have any doubts about the component variables then just go to the my previous lectures regarding the component variables and have a look into it and how what are those context variables uh, uh, sorry component variables and all so here uh, i am going to the t file input t limited component variable so here i was assigning the number of lines here that means what it will get is it will get what are the number of uh, like uh, what are the number of lines gets processed in the t file input delimited component because that is the one we are using here the as a main component that means we are retrieving the data from my local disk to the talent studio using that particular t file input delimited component so that is why i have using the number of lines uh, field in uh, t file input uh, number of lines component variable from the t file input delimited uh, component so what it means is here uh, context dot records count is this one so i am ending with this semicolon and in last i am printing it as system dot out dot print ln just i am writing it as context dot records count so this is the basic java syntax that we have for printing the records so i am saving it or else i am i can also enter some of the text here number of records processed are so this is the syntax so whenever this uh, complete job runs then it will gets executed so i am just running this so if you observe this see number of records processed are 3 similarly this is how you can use the context variables without declaring any value in the context uh, for that particular job here what i did is i didn't mention any context variable here any context variable uh, sorry i declared the context variable as a record counts and with the type just that's it i didn't mention any value for that particular context variable in the context session as well as i am not loading any context file here in order to place the values into the con uh, context so here what i am doing is while running uh, while run time itself i am assigning a value to the context uh, dot records count so suppose if you want to assign some other value suppose if you are if you are running some other job and if you want to assign some unique value like 7040 to some value then you can also write it as a context dot records count is equal to some 7040 without uh, 7040 by deleting all these things so what it will do is if you run this the output will be like uh, 7040 that means it won't get the number of records processed just for the just to display the number of records processed i mentioned it as uh, like i used the component variables so if you want to assign some numerical values also you can do that so this is how you can assign the context variables other than manually like uh, other than manually entering the values into the context tab and uh, we totally we have uh, now we have total three types of context variables described in my talent series one is uh, using a direct uh, context variable values in the context tab as well as second one is the like uh, using the context file by using the components like t context dump as well as t context load and another one is uh, using the some other co internal components and uh, assigning the value to a context variables while running so these are the three types of uh, loading a context variables 
i hope uh, your doubt was clarified if you have any uh, doubts then again you can comment on us if and i can reach out to you so that's all about this video guys thank you for watching